we're starting seats. <laughs> we're going big because we have eight in each row and we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember that, that'll help you in number sense. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 rows. So eight in each row and 16 of them. And we're planting all of them because we're going to go big and put in some hydroponic systems in schools. We're gonna help them out because the toughest, most challenging part of growing hydroponically is starting the seeds. Here's a way that's been most successful. Rockwool cubes, when you're growing in this large of a tray, it's a little bit difficult to use a whole cube. So you take and you cut one in half. I have placed all of these halves of cubes into pH balanced water and soaked them overnight. I now have, we're going to have five different kinds of seeds that we will be planting. Arugula, start compact basil that will grow short <laughs> and out instead of tall and up. <laughs> we're going to be growing starfighter lettuce. We'll be growing Salanova green butter and Salanova red butter. Here's what you do. Before you start, make sure that you have a label for every seed you will be starting. Every rock wool cube that you'll be starting has a plant label so you know what you're growing when you place it into your hydroponic system. I have all those ready. I can't fit this huge plant tag into one of these little spaces. It would take up everything and it wouldn't leave room for the dome. So I cut it. I cut it so that I would have plenty of labels out of one. I cut the label so that I would have plenty of labels out of one. Figure out how many labels do I need if I can cut them into pieces and I cut them one, two, three, four times. What fraction, fractional part is each of these labels? You can see math is everywhere when you are growing in hydroponics. It's everywhere when you're starting seeds. So let's take one half of the Rockwell Cube. We're going to place it in the tray. We're going to take one of our craft tweezers and make a slight indention so we can set our seed in it. Then we're going to take, and let's just start off with the compact basil. And I'm going to place a basil tag into the Rockwell Cube. Now I'm going to take the seeds. These seeds are called pelleted seeds because these seeds, lettuce seeds and arugula and basil, the seeds are very tiny. And th the seeds can be easily lost or more difficult to manipulate one at a time into, a grow into the growing media. So we use pelleted seeds for success. I use the tweezers. I'm placing it in the hole. I pushed it down just a little bit and I'm going to do this. I have three in here. How many more times am I going to place a half of a Rockwell cube soaked in pH balanced water, then put a plant tag into it, then take a pelleted seed and place it how many more times if I have 128? And if I have one, two, three, four, five different kinds of seeds, how many seeds each will I be planting? See all the math that's in that? After we finish placing all the Rockwell cubes and the seeds and the plant tags, then we're going to put a dome on top. And these we want to germinate and propagate and begin to grow so that we can place them into a hydroponic system and start to grow basil and lettuce 
and arugula, and basically a salad.